Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you an update about what's going on with the retirement visas being suspended in the Philippines currently. Um, and we're going to dive and look at some of the reasons why. Stick around. Okay, guys, so first I want to clarify that the retirement visas being suspended um, is for new applications only. If you already have a, a current uh, retirement visa, then you should be good to go. Um, if you have one already in application, you've already applied and the paperwork submitted, um, it's probably being uh, suspended as of right now. You know, we, probably it won't be approved at this point. Now, they are re-intervening again on November 4th to meet and discuss it. And so hopefully after November 4th, we'll have some more details and I'll go ahead and update you guys. But let's go take a look at a few articles about what's going on and what's the main reason why they have suspended uh, new applications and uh, new retirement visas here in the Philippines. Let's check that out. Okay, so I came up with a video a few days ago when we got news, and this is the original article uh, from the CNN Philippines that uh, the Phil Philippines Retirement Agency has suspended the processing of special retirees residents visas to foreign nationals pending policy amendments. So when I came out with this, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of details. We just kind of uh, talked about the article a little bit. But uh, mainly the big concern here uh, with the Philippines government is that uh, it's allowing foreigners young as 35 years old to come to the country. And uh, one of the problems is the top retirement visa holders are 27,000 Chinese. Next up, you got Koreans of uh, 14,000, Indian of 6,000, Taiwanese 4,800, Japanese 3,900, uh, others about 12,600. Americans, Australians, uh, British, Canadians, we're all pretty far down on the list compared to the Chinese here. Um, so, uh, they are going to reconvene on November 6th to tackle the policy reforms. Um, but their big concern was the influx of younger Chinese coming into the country. And we're going to look at a couple more articles on that here. So go ahead and flip over here. So this article came out uh, Friday, October 30th. Um, or I'm sorry, the 24th, so a day after. But... Um, basically, it's security concerns is what's going on over the presence in the country of nearly 28,000 Chinese retirees, some of whom were only in their 30s, and that was a big concern. It wasn't the fact that they don't want retirees here. It's the influx of so many Chinese and many of them young. Okay, so they're going to reconvene on November 6th I definitely see some changes coming up. I don't know how this will affect us foreigners that are living here and want retirement visas in the future. Um, again, I think if you already have a retirement visa, you're probably safe. I don't know if they can target specifically the Chinese on this or not. I don't know, um, but it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this on uh, November 6th. And maybe they reconvene and they really get nowhere. You know, I don't know how long this will last, but we'll... We'll see. So, yeah, uh, let's see here. So it says the board said all applications and processing of SRRV would be temporarily suspended and would discuss possible changes in the policies during their next meeting on November 6th. So, again, if you already have a retirement visa, you're okay. And uh, if you have an application in, or you want to apply, that is suspended as of right now. Um, they want to coordinate with the Bureau of Immigration, Department of Justice, Department of Labor and Employment, and improve its program to regularly monitor the profile and activities of foreign retirees. And that makes sense. Okay, so among the privileges enjoyed uh, by holders of SRRV are indefinite stay in the Philippines, exemption from the filing of annual immigration card to the BI, and from the payment of travel tax and custom duties for the one-time importation of household and personal items worth up to $7,000. Um, so 
Apparently, again, the Chinese nationals who were thir only 35 years old allowed to live in the country as foreign retirees, um, you know, is a big concern. Uh, another thing is that the it's an age of a soldier. Uh, they had been previously warned about the Chinese-owned Philippine offshore gaming operators. Could just be fronting for Chinese, China's intelligence agencies to snoop in the country. Said the number of Chinese retirees posed a national security concern since 35 is considered soldier's age. Uh, their number is equal to 27 army regiments. That's dangerous. Why would they retire here at 35, Gordon said at the hearing. Um, again, uh, you know, with the Philippines and the, in China, with the maritime disputes over the China, um, the South China Sea, you know, all of these things are concern and it does seem like uh, the president here is kind of leaning back away from China and more towards the U.S. again but you know we'll see what happens here um, with the retirement visa they can have multiple visas and that's dangerous I, uh, apparently they didn't know that she's disturbed by it. retirees retire at the age of 56 to 60 to 65 years old um, the Chinese could have chosen the Philippines as their supposed retirement destination because they can go back and forth without visa. But uh, again, the Chinese account for 40% of all foreign retirees living in the country, followed by Koreans. Americans, about 3,700. Uh, British, 1,600. Germans, 800. Australians, 750. So really, us Westerners are really just a very small number um, and really, there's really not that many retirees here as far as Westerners. I mean, under the SRRV. Okay, so again, it's going to reconvene on November 4th. And we'll take a look at it again and see what's going on and see if they've made any changes. At that time, we don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll take them more time. Uh, it'll be interesting to find out what happens in the future with this. So um, another news story that came out today. This just came out today. Easy entry of 4 million Chinese raises fears of soft invasion. Um, that came out as of the 29th, so I guess yesterday, since it's 30th here today. <laughs> but uh, they say the unhampered entry of millions of Chinese nationals into the Philippines may be the start of an orchestrated soft invasion by China, an opposition senator warned on Wednesday. So, uh, in you know, national security implications on the entry of about 4 million Chinese into the country since 2017. Um, so we're going to have to see uh, what's going on. But obviously this story, the stories of all the Chinese nationals who are um, on the retirement visas and a lot of them that young age, um, this is certainly going to play um this is certainly going to be a big issue going forward here. I can see that. But they estimated that $40 billion had exchanged hands in these rackets, uh, money-making operations that were uncovered during the hearings held by the Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations, and Gender Equality, um, including the Pastilla, Pastillas, Pastillas racket and the Visa Upon Arrival policy. Um, so, again... Um, I'm going to put this article down uh, in the links, guys. You can check out and read both articles. I don't want to speculate on what's going to happen because I don't know. But uh, certainly interesting times of what's going on, on the su suspension of applications that are currently in or people who want to apply for a retirement visa, all that's suspended. They'll reconvene November 6th. We'll see what happens if they just target Chinese um, or if they're going to make... Uh, Changes across the board that will affect everybody. We'll find out. And um, now, as of right now, a tourist can come to the Philippines and they can just keep extending, extending, extending and stay up to three years. Now, the majority of people who live here are probably doing that, to be honest. And I don't know at some point if the Philippines will change that. I think they will at some point. I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating based on what other countries are doing. Vietnam has changed things around. Uh, Thailand has. And right now, the Philippines is one of the easiest countries to really just stay in without having to leave for three years. 
Now, there are other countries that are quite easy. You know, there's Mexico, there's Colombia, there's other countries you can stay in for like six months. Cambodia, you can do a year. Um, so there are a lot of attractive options out there as well. But I don't think that's going to, you know, I don't think that's going to hang around forever. So we'll have to see what changes this whole uh, pandemic is, is changing things. Um, interesting times for sure. So questions, comments uh, down below. I don't know really how much I can answer on this. I'm just going to let you guys read the articles. Um, you guys can come up with your, you know, with your own ideas on what's going to happen and what's going to happen in the future. So guys, uh, please, uh, so guys, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, after November 6th, uh, when we have some updates, I'll update you guys. So see you guys next time.